Welcome. It's Amy with Lily Bean Designs. How are y'all doing today? Oh, good. I see some people are watching. Very exciting. And everybody's been so busy with Christmas. Um, okay. Hopefully this is a good camera angle. Maybe I'll put it down a little bit more like that. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Once I get back to Louisiana next week, I'll have the overhead camera back like it was before. So um, you guys will probably be able to see like a little bit better. Hello, Leanne. Hello, Leisha. Happy New Year. How are y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm so excited to be live with y'all today. Hey, Vanessa, Happy New Year. Um, I have a brand new file that I want to show y'all, and it's going to be a whole new line of files, actually. This is the first one that I'm going to post today. And then I have um, some volunteers that have offered to paint some of the other sets so that we can hurry up and get them listed. Because if it if it's on me to paint them all, it'll take, <laughs> Lord knows how long it'll take to get them all listed in my Etsy shop. So I have, um, well, first let me show you what it is. Okay. So y'all may have, may have seen my little picture, but it was hard to tell what this was. Okay. So this is and excuse my like really quick paint job, y'all. I tried to make it look like weathered wood. Um, let me turn it sideways for the people on the overhead um, camera, or not the overhead, for the time-lapse camera. So um, not my best paint job ever. I wanted to make it look, you know, weathered. Y'all know I love the weathered look. Um, so anyway, this is called a sandwich board. Hey, Connie and Susan, how are y'all? Okay, so this is called a sandwich board. I don't know if anybody else knows it by a different name, but this is like those things that you see on the street um, when you're like walking downtown in a quaint little uh, hometown hallmarky type of situation. And you see these little chalkboard signs propped up outside of wine and cheese shops and um, restaurants and bars and things like that. So that's what this is. I actually, I have not painted the back yet, but... Basically, it is Glowforge size, um, so it's going to take you, let me think, it's going to take you three sheets of Glowforge size wood to cut the initial, like, I'll call it an easel or a sandwich board. It'll take you three sheets to cut this initially because um, you're going to have to cut um, the front frame, the back solid piece, and then this piece in here, if you can tell, is a separate layer that like gets glued on the back of this front frame. And the reason it has a hole is so you can just reach your hand up in here and pop out the um, interchangeable signs. Okay, so that's why it takes three because this is gonna be an extra one. This piece that cuts out of this right here, this front frame, you can actually use for one of your like interchangeable sets if you want to you know, use your wood wisely. Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in here in just a minute. So this is, I think, 11, maybe not quite 11. I can't remember the exact measurements, but it, it almost, I tried to fit it. Y'all, it's still, the glue is still drying. So I'm getting glue all over my hands on top of paint that's already on my hands, which y'all know is a nightmare because then the paint won't come off. Um, so yeah, it's, it's getting on my nerves. I hate messy hands, but, um, I tried to get it painted so that I could go live for y'all today and show you what it looks like when you pop it in and out. Okay. So I'm sure some of y'all will paint it much cuter than I did. These are the little slats on the sides. Okay. So there's two on this side, two on this side. You just glue them. Okay. So what I did was I just put a little bit of glue. What, what would work really good is if you had the glue that has the little brush. Okay, so like, you know, when you buy, um, I got glue all over me, y'all. You know, when you buy the little Gorilla Glue, there's probably different brands, but the little Gorilla Glue um, things like at Hobby Lobby that have, they come with like a brush tip. That would have been perfect. I don't have that on hand. All I have with me is my giant thing of stick fast that is like a hot mess. But anyway, um, if you could brush it on so it doesn't run and then just stick this piece through here, this piece through here, you know, the four little, the four little things through there. And then I put a bead of glue along the top just to get it to stick. So y'all tell me, I debated when I designed this, I debated on doing a hinge, like ordering some little mini jewelry hinges. Well, not jewelry hinges, but like, basically I had to go to like a jewelry uh, website that you could buy like little hinges and little chains and things like that. I found hinges that would work so we could put like, you know, two hinges up here, but then I couldn't find the right length and size of chain 
to be able to like pop this open inside of here um, and the little fastener. So if anybody, if you want to cut this and you want to just omit these little side pieces and the slots, just delete them in your software, whatever program you use and not cut them and then do like hinges and a chain, please send me a picture and send me a link to where you found these um, little attachment things because I had no luck. Plus, I thought it might be nice if people didn't think that they had to go and find those and spend money on them because, you, you know, we're all broke after Christmas. So, um, so yeah, so wood is expensive enough without having to buy all these like little doodads to go with it. Okay, so the first set that we're going to paint um, that goes with it is our Be My Valentine set. So this is the backer. Okay, so this is what's going to pop out of your hole that I showed you. Okay, and then all your pieces are going to attach to your backer. So what you want to do is when you go to put these pieces on. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like for y'all in the side camera. When you go to put all these little pieces on make sure that you put them in locations there's always a bottom piece okay every set has a bottom piece and then i always put like a couple of little pieces up top and then i've got letters that go on here okay this is just scored to show you where to put the letters but i have the actual like you know cut out letters that are going to go there um but anyway make sure that you have it so that it's not going to hit your little your little things that stick out there on the front um so like glue it down last which you you know you would do that anyway right you would glue it last anyway um so yeah hopefully that makes sense i'm gonna start by making i i like them to look like chalkboard signs so we're gonna do black and i don't have my black is all clumpy i don't have chalkboard paint we've talked about that before that there's a difference between chalk paint and chalkboard paint um not that you need chalkboard paint. You're not going to be like wiping it off. Um, but anyway, we want it to look a little bit like a chalkboard. So I am going to just take some black paint. This is just deco art. And then after I do this, I'm going to just take a dry brush and I'm going to do a little bit of white to make it look like somebody has taken the eraser and tried to like, you know, erase the chalkboard and left some chalk residue and all that on there. So you're going to be able to see your score lines. Make sure you know you score them deep enough that you can see them. Um, I do mine on my Thunder Laser. I have a 100 watt. Um, sorry, I did not cut this on my Glowforge. Y'all, my Glowforge is still not hooked up. I did get a new fan for it because I stole the fan off of it for my, glow, for my Thunder. <laughs> um, anyway, I got a new inline fan for it, but I need to get it all hooked up. But anyway, for my Thunder, I do um, 500 speed and 30 power for scoring. And usually for shiplap lines, too, for engraving shiplap lines, that's what I also use. So if y'all are not on my text list and you want to get on there for this year, for 2023, and that way, whenever I go live, I notify y'all. Um, a few minutes before, then text me at the number scrolling at the bottom of your screen. And I, it'll put you on my text notification list. And the only time I text y'all is for going live and then also for like big event type of stuff. Like if we're opening um, our group, our clubs up for new members, I do text and let you know about that just so you don't miss it. Um, which by the way, Club Create a Kit is opening on July. July, Lord, January, January 24th. It's a Tuesday. We always open our clubs on a Tuesday. It just works out better for some reason. So we're launching um, the 24th. We'll be open from Tuesday to Sunday. So if you've been waiting to join, um, you can go to clubcreatekit.com, read more information about that, and you can get on the wait list to get notified when we open. All right, so now I've got all my pinks and reds. I'm excited to be done with red and green for a while. Is everybody tired of red and green? Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna get a little white. I've got lots of pinks and reds and all that good stuff sitting here. I got some new paint brushes. These are the paint brushes that I went and got at Walmart the other night, y'all, um, because I, 
could not find my paintbrushes because we do not have a permanent residence in um, Virginia right now. We are staying with family and my stuff is everywhere. And I ended up finding my paint. It was my paint and my brushes um, in a bin right where I left it. Y'all know you when you put things away, you hide it from yourself and then you can't find it and you blame everybody else for moving it. And then it turns out it was you, right? So um, in a bin, in the floor, in my bedroom, underneath a pile of clean clothes, folded, folded clean laundry, okay? But a large pile of folded clean laundry that had not been put away and the bin was underneath them hiding. So that's why I couldn't find it. So when I finally put my things away, I found my paint. <laughs> but in my defense, I put it away for a reason because our um, family was coming down and there are little children and I did not want them um, getting near anything like, you know, toxic or dangerous. So I put all my stuff away. This is a little envelope. Do y'all say envelope or envelope? Um, you are so over red and green. I know, me too. And the thing is, this is the sad thing. I had some Christmas files that I never got to post because I did not have time to make them and New Year's ones. And I'm going to still do them because I know some people make that stuff all year, but it's just frustrating when you design stuff and then you just never have time to like to make it. Um, so I've had lots of wonderful painter volunteers so far this year um, so that I can get paint. I mean, I can get um, projects out there quicker to y'all. Because like I said, if I wait for me to paint them, it will be forever. I'm gonna make this striped. Y'all know I love my black and white striped round signs. They're my favorite. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna make a conscious effort to make sure that when I design files that they don't sit in a folder on my desktop and not actually get posted. So we have tons of cute files coming out for 2023. I'm very excited about all these fun um, files. All right, let me think what else needs to be white. I'm not sure quite yet what needs to be white. Let me think. I don't have the color scheme like all picked out for this yet. So, okay, what's going on? The little round sign is going to be my 14 and my little kiss, my little kiss thing. All right, let's decide what color pinks we're going to do here. I've got a lot of pinks. I think. Um, okay, so I have dragon fruit, carousel pink, and royal fuchsia. Those are my three hot pinks. So if y'all are familiar with those three colors, what's your favorite? I think I'm going to do dragon fruit for some of this stuff. I like dragon fruit. And it took me a while to find dragon fruit, I think, if I remember correctly. Whoops. This is a new, a new one, so it's not mixed up. Vanessa, you like dragon fruit? I do too. It's pretty. Nope, that's still not mixed up good. My paint's been sitting. So I have some, I have three new Valentine shelf sitter sets that are coming out. If you guys saw my post last night in my makers group and you um, sent me an email to volunteer to paint, I will get back to you. I'm so sorry. I am. Um, I've been working on some other stuff on my computer this morning, but I will get back to you. I appreciate everyone who volunteered um, to paint those for me. So there is a Valentine's, just like Happy Valentine's Day one. There's a Galentine's, which is like, I have to say, I'm, I'm loving the, the Galentine's one. It's cute. And there's a hay sugar one. So like a sweets, all the sweet things. Those lips are cute. And then we'll do a lighter pink. I think we'll do bubblegum. We'll do bubblegum pink. 
So let's see, I have those coming out. And then if y'all um, saw my calendar, um, I posted a calendar and I put it in my in all of my groups because y'all are watching from different locations. So I put it in all of my groups and I also put it on my on my page um, and I pinned it at the top, like under the featured um, tab. I put a calendar showing y'all my live schedule and like the schedule of other things. So we're doing lives every Monday and Thursday, you know, unless life gets in the way. Monday and Thursday. Now, next Monday, we may actually be traveling back to Louisiana. We're not sure what day we're leaving. If we are, then that one will not happen because we'll be in in the um, in the truck riding down the highway. But other than that, that's the only thing I can think of this month that would prevent me from doing a live on a Monday or Thursday. Those are always at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And let's see what else. Let's do another coat of white on that. Oh, and the live, the live, I can't talk y'all. The new free file for January is coming out. Actually, I said I was going to post it on Friday, but I am going to post it on Thursday instead because we're going to do it a day early because I'm actually thinking that's what I'm going to paint on Thursday is the new free file because I've got it all cut out for y'all and I'm not near my laser. Like my laser is not, I'm at the river down here. My laser is not here with me at the river and I've cut it out already. So I've got to kind of do the things that I, that I cut for y'all rather than run back and forth an hour. So I'm going to do, I'll paint the free file on Thursday during my live. And Thursdays, um, the theme for our Thursday lives this year is going to be $3 Thursday. So every Thursday, a file will be $3. Now, if I paint the free file on Thursday, then obviously that's not $3. That's free. But in lieu of that, I'll come up with another probably Valentine file that I'll do for $3 that you can grab for that day um, for the $3 special. Just so you'll still get a, you know, you'll still get a $3 file. Yeah, we're going to do $3 Thursdays. So once, so every Thursday I'll do, I'll paint a file that's going to be $3. So that'll be exciting. What else is going on? Let me think. Okay, so right now all of our spring files are 25% off. And the code is spring25. I had to think about it. I like this dragon fruit. It has nice coverage. It's like that um, that purple I used the other day that's my favorite. What is that one called? It's that purple color that has such good coverage. Lil is it Lilac Meadow? Is that what I used? I thought it was something else. Yeah, I think it was Lilac Meadow. Oh, no, wait. Purple Cow. It was Purple Cow that I used the other day that had, I love the coverage on that one. It's awesome. These are all Deco Art Americana, y'all. All right, let's do our black stripes on here. Sorry, y'all know I get quiet when I'm doing like detailed stuff. And these lines are scored on here for y'all. So you don't have to use any magnets or uh, Velcro or command strips or whatever else you use for your interchangeable files with this one because since the sandwich board is, a, is like a leaner, it leans back. Your stuff's not going to fall out. So you just pop it in and out, which is nice. It's 
I don't have to go all the way across this one because this has a piece that goes on here that is going to cover this up. So yeah, I have, I actually have Christmas, winter, and New Year's Eve files that all fit this set because I, I never got it. I never got around to posting it um, before the holidays, unfortunately, but I will still put those out. But I also have um, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, and Mardi Gras. I don't remember if I did a Mother's Day one yet, but I'm going to do a Mother's Day one. So comment and tell me if there's like another theme that you guys like to see at the beginning of the year besides those. Um, does anybody want like a birthday or a baby shower or maybe like a wedding shower? That would be cute. Let me know like what themes that you would want to go with this. All right. Um, trying to think what color I want to do this. I think I'm going to do the lighter pink in the middle and then the darker pink on the outside. You want a birthday? Thank you, Lisa. I'm so excited about them. How much, how much was my laser? Uh, my laser is a couple years old. Um, it's a, if you're talking about my thunder laser, it was around 10,000. It's definitely an investment. I should have done the lighter pink first. That's okay. I'm going to go back and touch this up at the end anyway. Actually, no, I'm not because this doesn't need two, two coats. I may not need to do two coats of this hot pink. It's really going on good. My thunder definitely was an investment, um, but I, it's it's paid for itself um, in blanks. I sell a lot of blanks, and just the fact that it cuts so fast, I can get stuff cut really quick for you because time is money, y'all. And Thunder has been very good to me. They don't, apparently they don't have an affiliate program in the United States. I think they have one in Canada, but they did offer to send me because I do a lot of videos and I always talk very highly of their lasers because they're awesome. They offered to send me a free inline fan and they also sent me new covers for the handle on the front of the laser because the newer ones have these little black covers um, and the older ones don't. So my old one didn't have it. And I did a post about all the new things that I love about my new one. And they wrote to me and they said, we, um, that's I'm not gonna paint with it, that's black. That had black on it. I don't wanna get pink on there. Um, and they said, we will, um, we can send you some handle covers for your old one. So yeah, that was nice. Now the new feature that I really love, because I have, a, I have a thunder laser here in Virginia and then I have one in Louisiana because we go back and forth. The new one has this tray down in the bottom that catches all your little doodads that fall out in your honeycomb bed and it pulls out. And that is such a little thing that's such a big thing to me. Um, I did not know that they had added that feature. And when the laser came and I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I mean, it just really, it prevents you from having to basically like climb up in there to get it all cleaned out. So that's a pretty nice feature. Okay, I'm thinking I might 
need to outline. Oh, I wish I had my Posca pens up here, y'all. Why, oh, why did I not bring my Posca pens back with me? I do not know. That was such a dumb move on my part. That will not happen again. And I, I actually ordered some more, another set for up here, but they, they did not arrive because crazy story. I might have talked about this on my live before. I'm using a black Sharpie, by the way, y'all, because I don't have my Posca pens. Um, just to outline this envelope. So if you don't have a mailbox and Amazon ships something to your house through the post office, because I don't know if y'all know this, but if you live in the middle of nowhere, some of your Amazon packages come through the post office, which means they're going to take several days longer than the two-day prime shipping to get to you. So when they finally arrive after five days, if you don't have a mailbox, which I know people are probably like, well, why wouldn't you have a mailbox? Because this is not my house. This is my in-laws river home. And they're not down here most of the year. And it's a weekend place. And so they don't have a mailbox because they don't get mail down here and they don't want junk mail, which I wouldn't either. So yeah, they, uh, they would not leave my packages. And they also wouldn't pick up my packages. Like if I had outgoing stuff, they said, sorry, you have to have a mailbox. <laughs> and I'm like, but they're not in the mailbox. My outgoing packages are on the porch. And they're like, yeah, but we can't. This Sharpie is not inky. I'm dipping it in black paint. I am using what I've got, y'all. Um, Tanya, you're looking to upgrade your Glowforge. Yeah, Thunder is highly recommend Thunder. They're awesome. I don't really know about, um, I don't even know how to say it. Is it Ion, Aeon? I see people talking very highly about those. And then I know people who have, I don't even know how to say this one either. Is it Omtech or is it, is it Omnitech? Omnitech. Omni is there an I in there? I don't know. I have a, a friend who has one of those. I should know what it is, but she loves it. But there is a learning curve. There is a process to getting it up and running. And her husband's an engineer. Joy, if you're listening, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Brian is an engineer and he likes to tinker with things. And he got that thing uh, up and running, but apparently it was not a an easy thing it was not like a plug and play kind of deal fender is plug and play on tech okay say that right but that being said um tech is like half the price so there's that i'm not loving my my lines with my Sharpie here, y'all. <laughs> not loving it. Y'all can't see it. Be glad you can't see it up close. It's not pretty. I'll fix it. Just, just so y'all know, a Sharpie is not a substitute for a Posca pen. If you know, you know. So I ordered Posca pens down here. And they ended up getting shipped by Amazon and they, they got returned because the post office wouldn't bring them to me. Now we have a mailbox though. We got a mailbox just to put up while we're here. <laughs> Cause you know, it was Christmas and I was like, uh, I kind of need to get my Amazon packages. That's like really important right now. <laughs> okay. That's not too horrible. I suppose it could be better. I'm going to go ahead and glue this little heart on so we can kind of see what this is looking like. And that's scored on there as well. Cute. And now this love, let's see what color we want the back of that to be. Hmm. 
I don't know that I want it to be white. Do I want it to be black? So there's this love and then there's like this, this love that goes in here. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a lighter pink. Maybe I'll, I wasn't going to use this pink, but I think, I think I might throw it in there. This is, what is this? Cotton candy. And it is clogged. Oh, sea breeze. Hmm. I was not going to throw another color in here. I was doing all pinks and reds, Vanessa. Now you're making me want to do sea breeze. Hmm, girl, you know, I love me some sea breeze. All right. I, you know what though? I think, oh, that's really nasty. I think I'm just going to stick with the pinks on this one because I have so much sea breeze on all my stuff. I feel like I overuse it. I'm going to try, but that would be really, really cute. And I do love the pink and, and sea breeze for Valentine's Day. Let's see how this looks. I could change my mind. I could totally hate this because you know it's paint and you can just paint over it. I don't, I don't know that I'm loving that, honestly. I might have to go with that sea breeze. Do I have another light pink? Cactus flower. No. Not today. Not today. I could lighten up a pink color. I could throw red in there. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. <laughs> Y'all, I can't decide. I'm so indecisive today. Yeah, I, I know, Vanessa. I know. I have so much sea breeze in my shop. It's ridiculous. Um, maybe I'll just stick with cotton candy. Let's see what this looks like. It's kind of cotton candy mixed with, uh, I mean, not cotton candy. Why am I saying cotton candy? Bubble gum. It's bubble gum mixed with cotton candy a little bit. So it's like a little bit of a lighter shade. And that's actually what I was going for. So I think that's going to work. Yep, I think that's going to do it. Okay, so that's going to go on there. And then... Should we do the love in white or black? What would look good on that? Will white pop enough? Let's see. I'm going to do my little sponge stick thing in a bob. My sponge stick trick. For my white. Okay, so I saw somebody said wedding. Tanya, you said wedding. So should we do like a brunch kind of kind of deal, like a bridal shower? With like mimosas on it or something, maybe some flowers. Ooh, that would be pretty. We could do like a peach kind of color scheme. Yeah, I think that's going to look good, that white. Okay, um, yeah, and let's do this arrow in white. I'm taking way longer than I need you to paint this set. This is not a very big set, y'all. I just cannot decide. All right. I know this isn't dry, but I'm gluing it on here anyway because... Y'all know I'm impatient and I like to see what it looks like together. So this goes on here like so. Sorry, that's the um, 
hot water heater, heat, something, something's coming on, making a noise. Probably the heat. That's cute. And we'll do these here like that. And then the little kiss like up here. That'll be cute. Okay. Ooh. All right, we only need glue on the bottom lip. I always end up putting glue where I don't need glue. We got one more little piece to paint the XO. That is cute, you guys. That turned out really, really cute. Let me hold it up and show y'all. Put it up there, y'all can see. Isn't that cute? I love it. But it would be cute with sea breeze, I have to say. Definitely pink and sea breeze together is never a bad thing. <clears throat> okay, so light on dark, dark on light. Um, white. I'm just thinking out loud, y'all. Let's do white on this heart. On the outside part of the heart. And then we do our, I always forget what color that is, bubblegum, bubblegum pink. So did I tell y'all we found a condo here in Virginia that it's going to be built so I will have a better place to do my lives when we get all settled, which I'm hoping will be by summer. I'm hoping it won't be fall. I don't, I don't know that I can wait that long. I'm too impatient. You know what I like is this dragon fruit with a little bit of the um, bubblegum pink kind of streaked in it. That's kind of pretty. Y'all probably can't really see it, but I think it's pretty. Yes, you can purchase the file for this. It's in the listing description. Um, the Not the listing description, the, uh, the video like title, not the title, there's like the title and the description. It is in the video description. Tell me if you don't see it though, because I when I set my videos up on StreamYard, I put the links in there. So there's, so the actual sandwich board itself is one file and then the interchangeable sets, y'all, everything is sticking to this blue. Do y'all see this like, the baby white fuzz is like all stuck to the glue on my hands. Um, that file is separate. So the, the little interchangeable sets are separate. So I, they, I don't have, the, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have the pictures yet because um, I'm painting them right now. So, so yeah, I don't have like the actual like pretty pictures, but as soon as I get done with this video, I will go in and add these pictures. Um, so then it'll be more obvious like when you see the listing. I need a paintbrush that doesn't have a dark color on it for this white. Just doing a second coat of white. Who has
has a one coat white. Is there a one coat white out there? Please do tell. I'm wondering if I go and get outdoor paint with primer in it or something like that. Like if I buy like a half gallon or a quart or whatever it is, a quart, um, I think, and just put it into smaller little like FIFO bottles. And then I won't have to deal with like multiple coats of white. Does that, would that work? Would I get away with that y'all? Let me know. Okay, so those pieces are all painted. Oh gosh, we didn't paint the letters. Duh. Oh, and we also need to put the um, white, a little bit of like white on here. So let me get, I don't know if I have any more. Oh, I do have a chip brush. Yay. I have a clean chip brush. All right. So just dry chip brush. Well, this one's been used before. That's okay. Where did I find the industrial size stick fast? On Amazon. It was a better price, but did it dawn on me that I would be stuck using the industrial size stick fast um, and like holding it to try to apply it onto small things? No. Did that dawn on me? No, it did not. <laughs> it's actually not bad. I've gotten used to it. Okay, so just a little bit. That's all I did just to have, to make it look a little bit chalkboardy. Y'all will probably do a better job than me, but that is my attempt at making it look chalkboardy. <laughs> and then we're gonna paint the letters that go on the backer. B, what does it say? Be my Valentine, be my Valentine. T-I-N-E. And then this is the little heart that goes on the eye. Okay. Um, do we want to do pink? What color do we want to do for these? Do we want to do white? What do we want to do, y'all? Should we do white for BMI and pink on Valentine? Would that be cute? Or should we just do all white like a chalkboard? Amy says, I've tried house paint and still generally two coats. I've started using apple barrel white in large bottles and it's done good in one to two coats. The small bottles of white didn't do as well than the larger. Oh, that's interesting. So I didn't realize, is apple barrel white good? Because I always thought that apple barrel was not great paint. Like I'll buy apple barrel sometimes just because purely out of convenience if I'm at Walmart and I need a color. But the ones that I've bought have not been very thick. So that's why I always do deco art. And I just have stuck with deco art because I just feel like for the most part, it's thicker. But maybe I'm spending more money than I need to. Maybe I could just go get some cheapy old, like how much is the apple barrel paint? It used to be like 50 cents. It's probably, I'm guessing it's not 50 cents anymore because everything is more expensive. But I remember Back in the day, it was 50 cents. The price went up, but not by a lot. Oh, okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just using the same um, sponge stick. Is that the back of that V? No, is it? No. It looks like it is. I think I just got brown paint on it. I'm doing the bubble gum on, on the Valentine. but I've still got white on my sponge, so it's probably making it like a little bit lighter. And I know I could do the tape trick, but I didn't. If I was painting a whole bunch of these, I would not paint this way. I've told y'all that before. I know this makes some people twitch watching me paint, but y'all know, like I've said, I am not, 
I am better at making files than I am at painting. I am not that good at painting. I just do the best I can. And when I'm painting these, I'm not painting them for anybody else. So I'm not turning around selling this. So if it doesn't look perfect, y'all, it's because it's just going to sit on my counter. <laughs> it's good enough for my house. But if I was painting in bulk, I would definitely not paint this way. Sorry, the whole table's shaking. I would, I would be doing a lot of different things. I would probably be painting before I cut and masking and everything else. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm too lazy for that. I don't know. I might be using some rollers for some things. I think I would definitely be doing that, using some little rollers for things. Okay, there's that. I can't wait to put this together. It's going to be cute. Uh, I never like the small bottles of white, but the larger ones have been better. Larger ones are 250. That's not bad though. 250 is not bad. Okay. So I'm going to put the letters on first because the letters don't hang off and it doesn't matter. Uh, like I'm, the letters are not going to accidentally, um, hit those little side pieces on the sandwich board. So I don't have to like worry about that happening. So I'm going to do the letters first and then I'll show you what I mean. Like we'll probably put the rest of the pieces on after this board is like sitting in the backer. Does that make any sense at all? Y'all know what I mean? I really miss my small bottle of glue because I'm, I'm making, I have a lot of glue strings happening here. I need my little tiny bottle of glue. All right, and then these are scored, so I'm just going to try to line them up on my score lines. That's not the right B. I have painted the wrong B. Uh-oh. This is supposed to be white. This B is bigger. It's going to need another coat, though. All right, we're going to skip the E. We're going to go to the M because my glue is drying. It's making me nervous. So let's do, let's get everything else on here. And then we'll figure out the E's. Yeah, one E is a little more narrow than the other E, and I got it mixed up. Let me see if this E fits. All right, that E fits. All right, now let's fix our let's fix our E's. All right, the small one is supposed to be pink. Put a little bit more glue. On there. And then let me fix this other E. Can't you pour the glue in a smaller bottle? Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree sell a little. I could probably do that. Yeah, I could. I say I'm going to do all these things and then I never get around to doing them. That's one of the things that I said I was going to do. All right. This is looking pink no matter what I do. So hold on. I'm going to um, take my paper towel and just get some of this extra paint off of here so I can make this E white. Okay.
because I want y'all to see this all done. And we don't have time to sit here and wait for all this to dry again, right? Nobody got time for that. Streams. But this bottle actually was, it was doing better before it got all gloppy. Um, it wasn't doing strings before. It's just, it's old now. All right. So I'm going to set this up here. My little chalkboard, easel, sandwich board thing. And let me just see. All right, so as long as it's down there, it's gonna be fine. So it just needs to hang off down there. Okay. that on there for a minute um mary ann says i buy bear pro series dead flat there are different levels get the most expensive one covers amazing amazingly well but it does only come in gallons okay that's a lot of paint but for white and black and even brown that actually might work okay I'm trying to do this so y'all can see. It's not dry yet. But it's going to fit. It's going to fit in here. All right. I just want to make sure that's not going to hit. All right. So that's going to be good. And then these actually have plenty of room up at the top that they're not going to hit those other pieces. Okay, let me get those glued on. It's just it needs to dry for a couple minutes. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. So I need a little bit of glue on this part of the heart and this X, maybe like right there. And then our little envelope, so just like right here. Okay, let's let that dry for a moment. Do y'all have any questions while that dries? Oh, just because it's going to have to sit up, so I don't want it to fall off. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, Mardi Gras, uh, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter. I think those are the three that I already have made, if I'm not mistaken. So I will get those to one of my volunteer painters and hopefully get them painted in like the next week or so and get them posted. Um, but for now, we're just going to have the Valentine's one and then the, the easel or the sandwich board. So, um, all right. I think I can probably sit it in there. Without it falling apart. Here, sorry, I had to turn it towards me. I can't get it in there. There we go. Okay, so that is what it looks like all put together. Can y'all see with the little whoops? Let me move it this way. That is what it looks like all put together. How cute. I'm so excited about these. And then let me show for the, for the side camera there. How cute. All right, I'm gonna lay this down just cause it's, well, actually I'm gonna pop it back out of there cause I don't want any glue to possibly stick to the backer and then it's permanently in there. And I'll let that dry for maybe like 10 more minutes and then I'll take a picture and I'll update the Etsy listings. Thank you guys. Yes, 4th of July. I don't think I made that one yet. I made these a couple months ago. I have to look and see which ones I have. I don't know if I made the 4th of July yet, but yeah, definitely I'll have the 4th of July. 
I might have done a regular just spring flower one and then a Mother's Day one. I, I just sat down one night. And I was just cranking them out. I was so excited about them. So I'll see what I've got and I'll get um, I'll get those files going. So they're posted for y'all. But in the meantime, these are in my Etsy listings. And then don't forget the spring sale right now, like all the spring files. Oh, and if you are. OK, so uh, my SVG Clubhouse, my SVG Clubhouse files uh for 2021 are considered like retired now which means that they are being pulled out of the clubhouse and they're being listed on etsy so they can be purchased individually instead of as bundles so that means that all the 2021 files will gradually get added to etsy right now the march because i i didn't open my club until march of 2021 so right now all the march files were added today to etsy and so there's like eight new files because we had March and we had March bonus files. So there's a bunch of new files that just got added. If you're a club member, you can use your 50% off discount um, and buy them individually in the in my Etsy in my Etsy shop um, and not have to like buy the bundle. Um, if not, you can get them on the spring sale, which the code is spring 25 and you get 25% off. So, all right. Thank y'all so much for joining me and I will see you on Thursday. Have a wonderful day. Bye.